Let's look at open and distance learning in Nigeria. Like in every other country, Nigeria also had a fair share of the correspondence education, which commenced with the Oxford University Extramural Studies at University College Ibadan in 1947. Many Nigerians also registered as students of the correspondence college and institutions in UK. Now, again, we also, Nigeria also has a share of the radio and television stage when the radio, English by radio program of the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation was established in 1960. Educational television program of the National Television of Nigeria followed in 1960 also. The open and distance learning mode was first employed at the tertiary level by Amadou Bello University when it established the University of the Air in 1972. But in reality, University of Lagos was the first to become the dual mode operational institution for open and distance learning when they established COSIT, which is now known as the Distance Learning Institute. The decision to set up Open University in Nigeria was conceived in 1976 and the government set up a presidential planning committee led by Professor Afolabi Ojo. By April 20, 1983, the act of establishing the Open University of Nigeria was passed. And on July 22, 1983, Alaji Shagari assented to the bill. But in 1984, due to budgetary issues, the institution was suspended. Uh, then in 2002, during the tenure of Chief Olusha Gombasanjo, another university was established called National Open University of Nigeria. And it has to be said that Chief Obasanjo did not only establish the university, he demonstrated the relevance of the university by enrolling as a student. Immediately he left office as president. And it is on record today that from the humble beginning of a postgraduate diploma in Christian theology, Chief Obasanjo today holds the Doctor of Philosophy degree of the university, becoming the first doctoral graduate of Christian theology in National Open University of Nigeria. Now, after the establishment of NOUN, Commonwealth of Lanier partnered with the university to establish Retreader, which is supposed to take care of the needs of open and distance learning in West Africa. As of today, National Open University of Nigeria is the only mono-mode open and distance learning. Why do we need the open and distance learning system in Nigeria? The carrying capacity of the conventional universities cannot cope with the demand of university education by Nigerian youths. In the table you are looking at, you discover that in the year 2008, Nigeria has 94 universities, over a million applicants, out of which only 118,000 could be admitted. By the year 2017, Nigeria has 152 universities. The number of applicants is 1.7 million, out of which only 750,000 has been admitted. So there's always a large number of students that could not get university education when they need it. And that's one major reason that we need the open and distance learning system. Number two, there is continuous demand for higher education by employers of labor. And because people are not ready to resign their job because of the high level of employment in the country, this open and distance learning system that can allow someone to retain his job and at the same time go to school becomes a viable alternative. Thirdly, there is the need for lifelong learning. Lifelong learning is characterized by making learning a continuous lifelong activity. Learning through a flexible and easily accessible mode, development of a learning or knowledge society, and the fact that we all need to learn throughout life makes the open and distance learning system necessary.